What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're going to do something that is tradition apparently within YouTubers who have hit a thousand subscribers, a hundred thousand, a thousand, a hundred thousand subscribers and up. It is the unboxing of the YouTube silver play button. It's a plaque that you get when you hit a hundred thousand subscribers and um, I guess the next milestone is 500,000 or a million. I don't know what the next one is, but I didn't even know about this thing. And uh, my buddy Nick Wright actually told me about it. And I was like, no shit. So I got the box today and um, I got to admit, like I opened the box and I was like, dude, this is like a really kind of like nice, <laughs> like, I'm like, did I order something from Louis Vuitton that I didn't know was coming? Like, I was thinking, I was like, what the hell? But, you know, before we open this, I just want to say that, you know, when I started the YouTube thing, I started it to be able to embed my videos in my blog. And, um, not many people will read my blog, whatever. And then I, my buddy Rob Eulis, matter of fact, IFBB Pro Rob Eulis, before he was IFBB Pro Rob Eulis, made a video and he used something called iMovie that was on his iPhone. And I was like, wow, I'm like, how did you do that little clip? And he's like, iMovie. And I was like, iMovie, wow. <laughs> right? Like it's some kind of, so I downloaded iMovie, learned how to kind of use that software, the editing software, which is pretty easy. Learned how to put music to it. Next thing you know, bought an iPad and I was on the iPad editing videos trying to make something cool like that's what I wanted to do I wanted to make a documentary it's called the gym life and that's when I really started thinking you know I want to do this YouTube thing and a lot of people you know like YouTube they, they start YouTube for money and fame don't get me wrong there they want the money that comes with YouTube and now they hear stuff like Chris Jones talking about 100k each which means they make 200k a year off of YouTube but you're not fucking getting it like you don't start YouTube and all of a sudden start making a fucking hundred thousand dollars a year. That's not how it works. And the reason I got into YouTube, what some some of you may know, may not know, many of you probably don't know. I was let's see, I mean, since I was about four, I was into drawing, and not drawing like stick figures. Like I could draw, and as I got a little bit older in high school, I could draw, I could paint, I could sculpt, I could do all these different things. I could do um, different transfers and stuff like silk screens. I was learning how to do all this stuff. And I was so good at it by the time I was a senior in high school, I had already gone through all the art classes. They actually made a specific class just for me. I was the only one in the class and they had no place to put me. So they put me in like the 11th graders over in the corner by myself with my own curriculum. And um, I had decided I was going to go to the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale for advertising design. I wanted to draw. That's what I wanted to do after I graduated high school. Now, by age 11, by age 11, I had then picked up music. I learned how to play bass guitar at 11 years old. By the time I was 13, a matter of fact, on my 13th birthday, you know, some people are like, yeah, you play guitar. No, by my 13th birthday, I was actually playing in my first bar in a band with kids that were 18 older, 18 years and older, and I was 13. Like, I express myself in many different ways. There's different ways, like different kind of medias that I express myself in. I mean, my tattoos are expression. My my, the way my body looks by going to train and stuff and it's an expression I express myself in all, all these different ways and I saw this YouTube thing as another way to express myself to express what was going on in my life to express these different things and and put out there things that I've gone through that I'm going through stuff like that like as I was watching these reality TV shows that were just starting to take off and like in 2011 whatever the case may be I was like I'd watch these things and I'd kind of sit back and I go these kind of get to me because I go through the same things I understand what's happening. Huh, that actually makes me feel a little better knowing that I'm not the only one going through this. Let me see how they tackled it. How did they get through that? Okay, that's what they did? That's interesting because I did it this way. Maybe if I had done it that way, it would have been better for me in the long run. So that's how the whole YouTube thing started. It was never about money because I didn't even know you could really make anything on it. It wasn't about fucking fame because I didn't even, like when I got on YouTube, I didn't even know who the fucking Hodge twins were. Okay, so it's not about fame. I didn't even know you could have any fans or anything like that from it. It was about a, a new creative way to express myself by, you know, shooting video, putting it together, editing it, creating something like creating music, creating art, creating videos. It was another outlet for me to create stuff that I felt was something new and intriguing to me. And here we are, you know, two years, three years later, I started in 2012, really, 13, 14, 15. So three years later, and the whole thing, the, the whole dynamic has changed. It's become, you know, a media for me to express myself. It's brought people together. It's entertainment it's educational which i never thought educational is where it would go but once i started realizing i had a lot more knowledge than most people out there i could share that knowledge with them and that spreads the knowledge and the next thing you know i mean here we are three years later another lot of those guys who were talking about ifom a lot of them are not doing the junk anymore a lot of those guys that were doing super high volume shit 
are now doing low volume. The stuff that I was talking about, preaching about, and talking about the actual science behind, and even some of the bro science behind, three years later, and coming full circle, some of those people are actually starting to do it going, huh, this works better. So you know, I like to think that I had a little part in that in pushing things that were against the norm and against the tide in, you know, it's coming full circle and people are starting to get it now. And that is more rewarding than any dollar sign could ever be. But this is already a five minute video. So without further ado, the box, we unbox the box. And it's got this little foam thing in here because apparently this thing might be breakable, I guess. I don't know. So get rid of this foam thing. And it comes with this certificate from the CEO, Susan, Susan, uh, oh, that's a name, Wojcicki, Wojcicki, W-O-J-C-I-C-K-I. Okay. It says, you've just done something very few YouTubers create accomplished. You have astonished, you have, a, you have an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. I can't read, obviously. We know numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind the six-digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel was touched by what you did. They were inspired or challenged or entertained. That's exactly, that's interesting because that's exactly what it, it's set up to be. You made it to this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and chances are a healthy sense of humor. <laughs> so they must, there must be a formula how to do this that I didn't know about. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, which is true. This can never, the, right now, this moment right now can never be taken away from me. And we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work in this silver play button, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know you don't do this for rewards. You do this because you have a drive to create and share. What the fuck? That's what I just said. I swear to God I hadn't read this thing before. I didn't even look at it. Um, and because you found the audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but they're closer than, but they're closer than you think. We're rooting for you. Congratulations, Susan Wojcicki from... CEO of YouTube and here is the silver play button. I think I'm gonna hang this on the wall like right behind me So it'll be in the, the the view the play button and on the bottom Bio s3 training ain't that a bitch ain't that a bitch the fucking little guy from Warren Rhode Island Who never was supposed to become anything who still really isn't that big of a deal Has a hundred thousand subscribers has been get award fucking from YouTube a silver play button that apparently they said not many people get I don't know how many are out there, but I, I'm, you know, I'm proud to be one of them. So I'm going to take this thing and hang it on the wall. This is actually one of the coolest things I'm sharing with you right now. This is actually one of the coolest things that has ever happened to me in my life. To be able to reach a milestone of something that I never thought was possible, something that most likely someone in my spot, most people wouldn't think it was possible. I was actually dogged and told, you fucking suck. That whole channel that you got, I remember there was this forum. I remember this one dude was like, dude, you fucking suck. You'll never mount to anything. Your views are fucking terrible. Like, you just give it up. I remember him busting my balls. And here I am with 20.6 million views, over 1.8 million views a month, you know, getting these awards. It just, sometimes you just fucking feel like sticking it to people, but I do it for myself and not for other people. So thank you guys all for watching and helping me get this because it's, Basically, is from you guys subscribing and watching and helping me out throughout the year. So it's kind of for all of us, and that's why I'm going to stick it in the back. It'll be up there on the wall somewhere soon. So, biostraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biostraining.com is a blog. It's the 100,000 subscriber play button, and we're out.